And it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery trying to get that whole canvas in the picture. It's a 16 by 20 inch and I have a very light pink chalk outline. I have the horizon line where the ocean's coming down and I have a land line and I want to start with my sky by giving myself a bunch of artist loft and then adding just enough blue and in this case, because it's me, a little bit of pink. It's basically going to be a dirty pour. I might... That does not matter. I don't know what I might. I was going to say I might something or other, but um, what I might do is put some paint across the top. Just to moisten the canvas so that if I do get something going that I like, as far as flow goes, I maybe could have used more, but I really only want a thin layer. Paint flows to paint, so if I have a thin layer of paint on the canvas, then I can hopefully make it flow. I don't want a huge overabundance of paint because then I can't add different areas to my canvas without having all the paint that I add move. So we'll just go and throw a little bit of Anita's in there. Why not? Anita's metallic, white metallic. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's see what we get. Let's go side to side first. Let's put my edge catcher down. See how things are going and then decide to add some paint after that. We can add some more white. And some more color. We could blow into it and mess it around too. But right now, I just want to throw it back again before I throw it side to side. So how far can I get that to cover the top? Everything is an experiment with me. Now that's kind of a huge edge catcher for what I've got in mind, but I think it'll be okay. And if it's not, I have a smaller one. You know what? I have a smaller one now. So let's just use the smaller one. Smaller is better in this case. I may wind up putting a whole bunch more white in there, but that's perfect. I want this to be a pretty subtle sky anyway. And if it goes down below the horizon line, it's okay because there's going to be ocean there. I'm just going to roll that down. It creates a nice seal against the canvas. This was meant to be for the top, and I still will use that. I could definitely blow things around. I don't want to lose any paint though. I actually really want all the paint that I've got. So I'm glad that I started mostly on one side. Because that way I can tip to the other side. If I've got more paint still. I see a little blue spot so I can add some more blue. So I'm going to add some more white in there. Skies are never predictable, so neither are painted skies, basically. That Anita's White Metallic is a much more creamy color, which makes a nice contrast in a less than contrastful sky. So I'm going to roll that, hopefully, all the way up to the top now. It's looking like it's time for a light to come on in here. So as soon as I've got my seal, I put a little extra pressure on the canvas. I 
And then I can scrape everything that's on my edge catcher off and use it if I want to. Especially nice if I have a little space to do that. I have no need to waste any paint. If I don't have to, I don't. And I can use what I've got except for that thing. help the rest of that paint flow. Not only that, I can check my top with my spatula. It's a very, very subtle sky. And I've got a little bit more paint I can use. And maybe a drop or two more. Oh, that was more than a drop. So I'm going to Probably mix that around a little bit. I see that hair. What kind of hair is that? We don't want to ask. Come here thing. It's a person hair. I'm just going to do the same thing I did already. Gonna move that right down onto the horizon. Slightly contrastful cloud, that's fine. I have to do something about my ocean soon. My turntable is spinning out of control. Come on, break. Do your job. That's a nice big cloud bank right there. Maybe I'll use a straw. Make some puffy clouds or make some minor adjustments. I take too long with skies sometimes. I'm going to use all my drips, including that one, right on my edge. All right, so. It's not a very dramatic sky, but it's still fun. And that was the whole point for me, is to start with some fun. And then, I don't know what that was. But it had to go. I basically just take my chances putting things down on the canvas. The water in the picture that I thought I, that I was using for inspiration is very light. I don't mind if I steal a little bit of that. Sky color. Run it right down along the edge. I'm going to have to figure out how to do this, but I don't think it's a big deal. <clears throat> just a dot, just a dabble, do you? And 
That's my line of, line of demarcation. And I may not need this at all because the sky and the sea sort of are blending into each other. I seem to have some drips, like way more than I expected. Take any little bits of blue, put them over the edge. Now it's time. Now it's time, now it's time, now it's time for what? I've still got some really nice, some really nice dribbles, but I need a Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula to use them. They've got just some pink and some blue in them. And they're going to make perfect clouds. I might want something else. What's it along my horizon in my picture? I can't see anymore. I think it was pink. Because I want to throw this in the bucket because I reuse everything as long as I can. Let's grab a straw, maybe a part two. No, I got five minutes left. See, I couldn't just leave well enough alone. I had to mess with the sky. Still pretty subtle. It'll dry a little bit darker. And that'll be good. So I kind of want a base coat below. And for whatever reason, I'm going to use the Artist Loft White. And I'm thinking about swiping. But I was going to pour, and I could still do some of that. I definitely want some moisture all the way to the edge. I think it's going to require more. I did pull out the colors I wanted in my cliff. question is, can she do it in five minutes? No, I can't finish the trees, so there's definitely got to be a part two, because there's trees on this cliff. And I am going to grab some Anita's Wet Metallic, a whole bunch of copper, some Egyptian coin, which is a prison pour, A little bit of silver, a little bit of black. I think the black, I think the black is maiden. I kind of want to go from the bottom up, but I, I want the thing out of there. I can't just leave it in there and try and move it with my fingernail. Sometimes it works, not, not very often though. As a place to start. I see my sky moving. Come on, you're taking forever. It's a very gray cliff, so I'm not unhappy with my color choice at all. Squeeze some more silver in there. A little more black. Fix this 
might be the, considered the dark side. Some Decor de Maracana 24 karat gold. Some more Anitas. And in this case, I'm throwing some purple in there. Just to change up the direction. Give it a little more stir. Pop that bubble while I'm at it. Make sure it's a bubble, because if it's not a bubble, it's got to go. Now where's my short edge catcher? There it is. Let all that flow over. And then push it back. And I'm just going to keep filling up my cup with all my different colors. Making sure I have my edge catcher handy and maybe a little more black. Let's go over to the edge. Nope. I've got two minutes left. Sorry about the timer or the timing. So in two minutes I might maybe be able to cover this. Looks like I've got stuff in my paint. That's a big piece of stuff in my paint. That's glop. I don't like glop. Glop usually means scraping, but you know what? It's a pebbly surface because it's a, it's a cliff, so we're just going to go with it. How much more gold? A little bit of Artist Loft white. more black, some more Egyptian coin, which is looking very much like Floetrol, but that's okay. Let it all go down where it's supposed to go. I'll worry about things coming out of it later. I'm gonna fill in that little gap right there. And Yep, I got one minute left. I'll see you guys in part two. Make sure to, that you know that uh, donations help support the, the creation of video tutorials. And uh, if you decide that you'd like to be in the monthly drawing, you should see the prizes included in the exhibition video that's on the end screen of every video, or at least recent videos. I want some... I want some... And the word escapes me. Dioxazine purple. I might need the bigger edge catcher, but I think I'll be okay for right now. I think I'm going to go over and down. See how far I can get this to extend. Which isn't without some distance.